Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be the uh, continuation. We're going to continue working on the uh, what I'm referring to as the crash but not dead 69 Camaro Z28. As you remember in the previous video, I, I kind of focused on the overall damage of the car. And in this video, we're going to be doing the initial disassembly of it so that we can get the car ready to put on the lift and we can remove uh, the, the suspension and the interior and so on. But the first thing we have to do is get all of the uh, damaged body panels off the car. And as you can see here, we started with the door, which we literally had to just cut off the car because the damage was so severe. It just was smashed to the point where we couldn't unbolt it uh, like you normally would. Um, and I'm showing drywall and old wood here from, from what I think the car hit the corner of a house, believe it or not, because we found old house wood and drywall embedded in the, in the damage. So uh, if anyone is familiar with this car, maybe they know what happened to it. But Anyway, as the rest of the panels that we're removing here, um, you know, I insisted that we unbolt everything rather than cut it off, which is what the normal reaction would be is to cut all the panels off. But, and in this case, we're removing the hood, which we're going to uh, repair because that's the original cow hood to the car. It's got the correct day code on it and so then we just continue taking parts and pieces off here and uh, like I mentioned before you know I insisted that everything be unbolted properly so that uh, we don't do any more damage to some of the parts and pieces that uh, we can save and here I'm removing the front bumper which was undamaged the grill was undamaged the lower valance was undamaged and uh, the header panel is damaged so that's probably going to be replaced and the passenger side fender is undamaged, but it's got rust in it. So we're going to replace both front fenders on the car. So it's kind of a long, tedious process, but, but we're trying to get, like I'd mentioned, the whole front end of the car apart so that we can get the car up on the lift and remove the subframe in the front, subframe and engine, and then the uh, the rear end. And then we can get the car down to the point where we can start doing the body work on it. And once we got all of these panels off, you know, the car looked a lot better. I mean, it, it's, it looks a lot... You can see that the wheelbase itself is really not that far off. Um, the subframe is, for all that I can see so far anyway, the subframe is undamaged. It just got moved over a little bit. And so hopefully it's straight, That you know, but we're going to check that, of course. So at this point, uh, getting the front driver's side fender off, again, was quite a task. I mean, we worked for a good hour trying to get the thing loose from the rest of the damage. And uh, again, I did not want to cut it off the car. I just wanted to unbolt everything properly. So now the car is ready. Uh, we've got all the front end and panels and door and all that off the car. And, and again, it's, in my opinion, it's looking a lot better. It, you know, the damage looks a lot worse than it really is. It is all fixable, as bad as it is. But now the car is ready to move over to the, to the lift. And you can see all the damaged parts and pieces here. So in this scene, I'm removing the 
heater box from the firewall. Uh, I just wanted to reveal all of the uh, hidden VIN numbers on the car. And the VIN, the hidden VIN that was under the ta cowl is, is okay, but it wasn't stamped very well. About half of it's missing. But here under the heater box, it's, uh, it had a really good stamp and it's very clear. And here I'm holding the VIN tag up to compare the numbers. So now we've moved the car over to the lift now and it's ready to remove the subframe in the rear end and then uh, then we'll pull the interior out and then start doing all the body work. So, so that's going to be uh, on the next video. And uh, in the meantime, this is the end of this video. And again, as usual, thank you so much for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe, and push the bell for future video notifications. And uh, so you can keep track of this restoration. So again, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.